Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosis. In this video, we are going to see what are custom labels and how to assign them in our app. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing and press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Custom labels are nothing but a kind of tags, used to filter and group the products in the Google Ads campaigns. Based on different custom label values assigned to different group of products, or, individual products, you can identify, filter and structure products for the shopping campaign as per your advertising preferences. Google in its interface, gives you the option to filter the products based on brand name, product type, Google product category, condition value etc. But, when you need a product grouping that is not based on the options given by Google, then Google gives you the option of custom labels. You can use these label values to create the product grouping in the campaign. Here are a few examples of product grouping. For example, if you would like to bid higher for fast selling products, and lower the bid for slow selling products. You can apply custom labels accordingly to group them and set different bids based on different product grouping in the ads campaign. Please note that, values added in the custom label do not help as a keyword matching in the campaign. So, they are not meant to insert keywords for any particular product. Once again I am repeating, they are nothing but tagging the products feature that can be used in subsequent phases of Google Shopping Setup. Custom label are meant to create product grouping inside your Google Ads campaign or multiple Google Ads campaign based on custom label values. Please remember they do not help with any kind of keyword campaign or keyword triggering. You can assign different custom labels from 0 to 4. You cannot have more than 1000 unique values assigned to same custom label. For example, this is a typical case where I am selling beds. I have products wherein some are high selling items, some are medium selling, and some are low selling. In this case, based on grouping option given by Google in the Google Ads interface, my high selling products or low selling products are almost impossible to group. To create a group of products with such a grouping criteria, I can use custom labels and then bid on them accordingly. Now let's look at an example on how to assign custom label in our app. Please go to our app, and, click on Manage Products, and, click on, Filter Products, and, click on, Select Filter. Now you can filter your products on the basis of age group, gender, product type, tags, vendor etc. On which you want to apply the custom label. Then you need to select any one of these options and create a filter. Over here we are going to select product type as beds and click on the Add Filter. As you can see product type with beds have been filtered. Now if you want to filter even further. For example, if you want beds with king size or queen size or any other attribute then you can filter even further. Here we will try putting additional filter as king. So all beds with king in the title will be selected. Now you can either manually select products on which you want to assign custom label or simply select all products as per your preference. Over here we are selecting all products. Click on do edits in bulk and select any custom label you like. Over here will we take custom label 0. Give it any name which is easier to remember which differentiates why you are creating this label for. Over here I am giving name as high selling. As I want to filter those products which are high selling items so I can assign higher budget to these products when creating campaign in Google AdWords. Now click on apply in bulk and click OK. Now we will repeat the same and apply filter products with queen size beds. We'll give name here as low selling as for me they don't sell very often so I would like to assign a low budget in Google AdWords. Now, let us see how to apply a filter on custom labels in our app. As we assigned custom labels for few products as per our preferences. Now suppose you want to check and filter those products on which you have assigned. 
Then click on Filter Products and select the custom label on which you assigned labels. In this case, we have assigned custom label 0 as high selling to some products. Now, you will have to manually type in the custom label value you are looking for. As you want get to see them as, a drop-down option to select from. In this case we will type high selling. And click add filter. Now you can see all the products on which we have assigned high selling as custom label 0. You can also confirm the same by clicking on any one of the products and go to product page. Scroll down and you should see the custom label 0 assigned as high selling. Similarly, it will work for all the custom label 0 to 4 values. Once filter is applied, you can do edits in bulk on filtered products or you can apply other filtering option to work on even smaller group. After assigning the labels, you need to wait between 3 to 4 hours for the labels to appear in Google AdWords depending on the number of products submitted. After waiting for around 4 hours, you can create shopping campaign under Inventory Filter section, select Filter. Then from the drop-down menu select Custom Label 0. Under Custom Label 0, you will be able to see all the labels you have created. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. Please refer to our other related help videos. See you again in another video.